So hello everyone, this is Yom Rajput back again with a new video on a video series of CSA and Jeff for Sciences. Now this particular video is very important for all the aspirants of CSIR. So please do not attend. Again, I am repeating, please do not attend CSIR net exam without watching this video. Because in this video, I am going to give you some tips, tricks, strategy that will help you to get bonus mark, to get extra mark with the same preparation level, to get maximum mark with minimum effort. Now this video will be helpful for uh, beginners who are in, the, in their MSCs, they don't know uh, how exactly to crack CSIR exam. And for experienced one who always score marks close to the cutoff and somehow they won't clear CSIR exam. For them also, it will help you. Also, right now we have some 40 hours. Uh, maybe uh, on 29th, we have exam somewhere on 3 p.m., right? 3 p.m. So right now we have 40 hours. So I will give you which topic you should revise now to get maximum marks. In minimum efforts okay so the, all the revision list i will give you in this video so be there with me till the end of this video so now have a look on this slide i will give you a different perspective of csir paper so here we have three sections in the paper a b c in part a uh, total number of question is 20 out of which we have to solve any 15 and by solving 15 question you will get 30 marks while uh, the total mark is 40. similarly for uh, part b here we have 50 questions and uh, out of which we have to solve any 35. By solving this, you will get 70 marks. The negative and positive marking will be same for part A and B. In part C, uh, the negative marking is bit more than uh, part A and part B. So we can't take a risk in part C. Okay. Okay. So here the number of questions are also high. Out of 80 questions, we have to solve any 25. So we can, uh, we have various options. Okay. And the reason is the questions are a bit difficult, a bit uh, complex. Okay. Okay. So if you sum all the marks, you will get the total marks 460. So the one paper is equivalent to 460 marks out of which you can attempt only 200 marks. But if you are say from unreserved category, the, the most common cutoff till now is 120. Okay, and for OBC, SCST, it is even less. So think of it, out of 460 marks, you have to get only 120 to get a GRF, to get GRF, this much you want. And see, in case, if you see the number of questions, we have 150 questions, out of which total questions you have to attempt is 75. So by uh, solving all 75 questions correctly, you will get 200 marks. And believe me, till now, nobody reached this point. I am all India rank 5. I got 154 marks and the highest marks till now is 161. So nobody can do that. Nobody can do that. Okay. It's not gate. Okay. So it's a bit difficult over here. So now think like this. Here we have 120 marks. Okay. You can easily get this much of marks by solving at least 60 questions. So out of 150, you have to solve any 60, any 60. And that is not even 50%. Okay. And this is for undeserved only. For uh, different categories, it is even less. So now you can say that, then it's very easy, then, right? It's uh, very easy, right? But believe me, it's not. Because the number of students and the number of seats <laughs> is having a huge difference. The syllabus is very huge. So in this video, I'm going to give you that strategy. Okay. Now moving to the next. So let's talk about time management. Now it is very important. We have three hours, that is 180 minutes. Total number of question is 150. So we have to solve any 75. But during exam, you will go through every question to find whether uh, that is uh, easy to solve or not. You have to read at least once, right? So if you divide, you will come to know that we have 1 minute 20 seconds for each question. We have to solve any 75 only, but still you have to read no. And uh, we have to save extra 10 minutes at least. Okay, we have to save this much of time for revision. It is very important. So just think we have 170 minutes and we have to go through 150 questions in that much of time. Okay. So throughout the exam, you have to do one thing. You have to check time at regular interval. Okay. Second, do not waste your time in guessing. Okay. So if you don't know the answer, simply leave it. Okay. So answer only those questions when you are 100% sure, okay, because it is having negative markings, right? So for each wrong answer, you will get negative mark. So now let's talk about this 50-50 rule. It always helps me a lot. It will give you the bonus mark. In case if you are confused about 
a question in which out of four options two options are opposing each other so if in question two options are opposing each other then ignore other options keep those two options which are opposing each other now out of those two options one is always correct okay so in this way you can uh, eliminate another two options which are not opposing each other okay so always remember it always works so sometimes in part c we have match the following right now uh, these match the following are again of two types sometimes we have uh, three columns and sometimes we have to match the follow in two columns only okay now if you know any any of them it will help you to find out the correct option so never leave match the following if you know little bit about that particular uh, uh, question you will come to know the answer it always works it is scoring so don't leave this now another statement explanation of other type so basically sometimes we get a question in which uh, two statements are given and in option we'll have options like statement a is true statement b is false and statement a is not correctly explaining or statement a is correctly explaining statement b now these type of questions are bit tricky okay you have to be sure then only attempt this question if you have some confusion you can leave it it may create negative marking and these types of questions are common in part c so you can leave this now let's talk about some tips and tricks to crack csir exam so i will start with the part c then part b and then part a so always remember even during the exam never start with part a even if you are good in this thing reasoning why i am saying like that because we all are most of you are from geology background right you did your masters bachelors so you have dedicated your 5 years to this geology and uh, in recent year to ocean atmosphere also okay so if you start something which you are unaware which you have never practiced it will take your time right so always start with c it is having maximum number of question and if you have a good strategy you will get sufficient marks from c only okay so always start with the c then b and then a so another tip is in part c initially you have to ignore complex numerical even if you know that just save it for the later review why i am saying like that because these numericals uh, they are mostly from geophysics atmospheric sciences these numericals are kind of complex the the equations are very very huge okay and you have to solve those equations you have to use calculator online calculator so during exam you can't use this uh, keyboard no you have to type all the digits using your mouse and since i told you we have a very short amount of time for every questions 1 minute 20 seconds like that and here in part c the questions are uh, like uh, paragraph type it is having plots and all so that needs time so to save time you have to ignore these complex numericals initially in case if you don't know any other question from part c and if you want to co complete 25 questions then you can go for it only if, if you have sufficient time the point is that okay so now try to solve more fact based question if you are sure about it why i am saying like this because this fact based questions are always correct there is less probability of being wrong okay say there is some question in part c on static graph direct question on succession in that case if you know if you know then then we definitely crack that question it's very easy it's fact based there's no need of a uh, uh, concept in that okay but remember in part c these types of questions are less the most number of questions are either conceptual theories or numericals these are less for conceptual theory question read twice dry figure to solve so suppose you are having a conceptual question a paragraph type question or a plot based question you have to go through the figure you have to revise twice okay and in question only you will get the answer okay so if you have proper concept no you will come to know definitely and these questions are really huge okay now next point those question which has attached tables on the beginning of paper kindly avoid it avoid it so there are some questions which needs uh, some values constant values from tables and these tables are in the front pages of question paper believe me those questions are having complex equations 
those question needs more than one formula okay so these type of question will take lots of time again you have to plot you have to input all those values using mouse okay so yeah according to time management you have to ignore because in part c we have to solve any 25 out of 80 so we have lots of uh, options so kindly leave it and solve only if you don't know anything then only okay now those numericals where lots of constants are required and value are not given in the question kindly ignore that so questions like scale height of atmospheric sciences some numericals from uh, geophysics their constant values are not given in the question there you have to buy hard okay so kindly ignore that and even now if you are revising the those numericals which is having those formulas which is having lots of constants leave that you <laughs> if you by heart now know those things you you will forget some important concepts other concepts okay so wo cheeze yaad mat karo uske chakkar mein easy cheeze chhut jayengi are you getting my point again minimize calculator use to save the time as much jitna ho sake kam se kam calculator ka use karo okay and these kinds of numericals are mainly in part c in part b you can solve using your hands only okay uh, okay at least try to solve 20 questions correctly so our motto should be at least 20 out of 80 question 1 by 4 it's 1 by 4 25 percent only out of 80 you have to solve any 20 at least at least okay itna karlo it is the most common target by all the toppers and believe me Amongst you, if you prepare a strategy like this, if you follow all those points, then in that case, you can clear as much as 25. Okay. Uh, last time, I solved 25 questions. And many job is Out of 25, 24 is correct. So, here, you can score maximum marks. Think of it. Agar so 20 questions bhi solve kar rahe ho, 20 questions only, you will get 80 marks out of it. And how much you need as a general? 120. That's the most common uh, cutoff. So 80 marks from this section only. Okay. Moving to part B. Okay. So here attain numericals. Okay. Because out of 50, we have to solve any 35. Okay. And the syllabus of part B is not uh, small. It's again huge. So you, you can't uh, go through every question because nobody can complete all the syllabus. Okay. So you have to attempt numericals also because here the numericals are easy no need of memorizing constants as compared to c also equations are a bit easy you can solve on your hands only using rough papers only that's it okay here we have more fact based questions than uh, c so you have to 100 percent sure for those questions and it will give you two marks two marks out of two marks definitely Again, third point, until and unless you are complete unaware of particular topic, do not ignore that question. Because here we have less options as compared to C. Out of 50, we have to go for 35. So, unless and until you are completely unaware, if you don't know anything about that particular topic, then only leave the question. You can apply science and logic to solve. But again, don't go for your gut feeling or sixth sense. Okay, apply science. There should be some uh, sense out of your logic. Okay, try to solve at least 30 questions correctly. Okay, at least 30. How much? 60 marks. 80 plus 60, how much it is? 140. Okay, initially it is 80 marks from you and one, uh, 60 marks from you. So, 80 plus 60, 140. Now, even if, if you did some negative questions also, uh, by subtracting those, uh, you will have, say, uh, out of 140, you will get 120. Say, remove 20 marks. Now go, party. Okay. So, most of you, uh, like, they are aware more about B and C as compared to party. Okay. So, here again, you have to follow some strategy. Firstly, read the question carefully. You have to be very careful in party. And understand it properly. Do not interpret it wrong. See, the most common problem is we interpret it wrong. Okay. See, okay. So, which leads to the wrong solution. So, be careful. 
अगेन मेक योर माइंड टू सॉल्व एनी सॉर्ट ऑफ क्वेश्चन वाइल्ड एंसरिंग इन द एग्जामिनेशन ओके अगेन सी आई टोल्ड यू दैट यू हैव टू स्टार्ट एट द लास्ट दिस पार्ट ए राइट फर्स्ट सी देन बी देन पार्ट ए यू हैव टू कीप एट लीस्ट सम ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी फाइव मिनट्स फॉर दिस एंड अगेन रिमेंबर टेन मिनट्स फॉर रिविजन ओके सो या सॉल्व द शॉर्ट टाइम टेकिंग क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट देन द लेंदी क्वेश्चन बिकॉज वी हैव लेस टाइम एंड वी आर नॉट अवेयर ऑफ अबाउट ऑल द टॉपिक्स कवर्ड इन पार्ट ए try to use short tricks and formula to solve math so if you are from if your reasoning is bit strong if you are from math background then you must know some tricks and uh, formula to solve these kind of questions solving logical reasoning question can be easy if we use our presence of mind simple presence of mind is needed okay to solve logical best reasoning take help from the diagram or graphs to solve the part a question This is the easiest way to attempt question with minimum time limit. Okay. Uh, do not waste your time in guessing. Again, never go for your gut feeling sixth sense. Answer only when you are sure about it, as there is a negative marking of point five zero marks for wrong answers. Okay. So negative भी बहुत लोग करते हैं पार्टी. Don't do that. Okay. Now things you have to revise before the exam. Again, it depends. student to student if someone is uh, brilliant in geology for them revision of geology will take less time as compared to ocean atmosphere and planetary sciences so again it depends upon a uh, type of student okay so uh, in geology see the major pillars of geology in csir exam is basically geotectonics geomorphology petrology these three are major pillars okay why i am saying like that uh see the most of question from part c a part a if you see the previous year uh, questions you will come to know that these three topics are more than 50% sometimes of total geology questions total geology i am talking about these three and uh, there are numericals from these things there are uh, theoretical question from this there are fact based question from this okay so geotectonics uh, here you will have uh, theory plus numerical question again these questions are not too easy and not too difficult the level is moderate even for numericals also no if you know basic idea there, there is no need to go for uh, formulas or very complex formula for geotectonics questions very easy formulas <laughs> very easy concept okay so i will uh, recommend you to go through all the numericals all the numericals very few number of numericals are there no in geotectonics You will easily get marks whether those uh, numericals are based on relative movement of tectonic plates and uh, various questions are there, right? So this geotectonics will help you in geology plus in marine geology. So uh, there is a chapter in marine geology also which is based on geotectonics. So this will help you for marine geology too. In geomorphology, the most important is marine landforms. Why I am saying like that? Because these marine landforms are there in marine geology also okay that is a part of oceanography so here by completing geology you are also preparing for marine geology that is oceanography thing okay so the most important is marine landforms fluvial then glacial then eolian then crust now this is based on the previous year questions okay as per my experience so here theory is very easy critical questions are very easy and we all are learning this from our bsc only from bachelor's only we are going to geomorphology landforms so before exam go through different landforms their photos their names and here numericals are again very easy believe me whether it is on eolian whether it's uh, on fluvial those numericals are very easy so numerical kar lo chhodna nahi hai revise it petrology amongst petrology sedimentology is very important because this sedimentary part is there in oceanography also in marine geology you will have a chapter called marine sediments okay so if you prepare over here for geology that will help you for oceanography also so sedimentary is very important again iska numerical bahut asaan hai bahut asaan okay then igneous then metamorphic so in this way you have to complete so your sedimentary should be very uh, important for you then igneous then metamorphic again numericals of igneous and metamorphic are bit difficult as compared to sedimentary and these numericals 
are uh, based on some applications of geochemistry also so here uh, in question you will have some terms of geochemistry which is now related with igneous and metamorphic concepts okay so it's not all about petrology but also geochemistry now a structure here there is no need of detail analysis all you have to focus now since we have very less amount of time 40 hours so you can focus more on classification and classification maybe kiska full faults okay like joints and all those are not that much of important full faults uh, then uh, ramsey classification is very important they ask various time ramsey classification dekh ke jana okay likh lo mohr circles theory of stress system quite enough quite enough stratigraphy so in stratigraphy they ask question and they merge this stratigraphy with economic geology also sometimes with paleontology also so stratigraphy may you have to go through successions then see in which succession which economic uh, economic deposit is present so in this way you will come to know about economic geology also and see which fossils are there okay so here in this way you prepare stratigraphy or economic and fossils all three and uh, I will don't recommend to to go through the entire paleontology again because वहाँ रखना पड़ेगा you have to buy art there is no other option so better just remember those fossils which are uh, index fossil which are there in various important successions quite enough in applied geology also we have four things remote sensing engineering geology mineral exploration and hydrology and the importance is in this way so remote sensing is very important then engineering geology then mineral exploration then hydrology now there are some topics which you can simply ignore in geology jaise optical mineralogy they never ask question on optical mineralogy crystallography in last 8 years they ask only twice okay so you can uh, ignore this okay uh, in mineralogy also crystallography ko ignore karo in mineralogy also uh, physical mineralogy is uh, more important than uh, chemical but again mineralogy is not that much have uh, if importance as petrology petrology is more important over here okay so these are the main three pillars after that you have to focus i already told you now geophysics so first of all geophysics ka revision kisko karna chahiye so those special student of geophysics jo jinhone uh, masters mein geophysics kiya who did their masters or their mtech in geophysics they can go for it if you are from geology background you never uh did this geophysics in your masters or bachelors whatever you never have a proper idea of geophysics upar upar se padhe ho then never revise it because the number of numericals is very high very high and it it is tougher than even get geophysics exam having lots of question in part c no doubt number of question is very high but that is much tougher than get geophysics also even uh, those who are aspirants of get geophysics they find very hard okay सो so, अगर तुमने प्रॉपर तैयारी नहीं की बिकॉज यू गाइज ऑलरेडी नो कि मेरी तैयारी कितनी है अबाउट दिस जियो फिजिक्स सो बेटर लिव इट ओके इन पार्ट सी वी हैव वेरियस ऑप्शन आउट ऑफ एटी एन ए ट्वेंटी फाइव सो या यू कैन लिव इट सॉल्व वन इफ यू आर प्रिपेयर इवन इफ से यू आर यू नो जियो फिजिक्स सो इफ यू आर हंड्रेड परसेंट श्योर अबाउट द फॉर्मूला अबाउट द कॉन्स्टेंट्स देन ओनली सॉल्व इट बिकॉज दिस kind of questions will take lots of time also complex so you can let this now we have well logging also so these questions are having more chances of getting right as compared to numericals the reason is uh, sometimes a student simply by heart okay these well logging methods okay and if you are 100% sure if you are already uh, by heart at that question so now it's a fact by best time it is not fact best no so it's not like numerical which takes lots of time so you can go for it jo physics question in part c you can keep it for later since the number of questions are very high again it depends from student to student one who don't know anything simply ignore who know say 50% of the concept they can keep it for later and those who know 100% just go for it without any second uh revise formula so what you have to do in this 40 hours revise formula go through diagrams and uh, by heart all the well logging methods that's it this is all you have to do and those who want solution kindly check out surya blog spot there you will get all the geophysics solved numericals i will give you the link in the description now let's talk about oceanography 
सो वी हैव फोर टाइप्स ऑफ डिविजन्स फिजिकल मरीन जियोलॉजी मरीन केमिस्ट्री एंड मरीन बायोलॉजी इन फिजिकल ओशनोग्राफी वी हैव फोर्टी आवर्स राइट सो इन दिस टाइम यू हैव टू गो थ्रू डायग्राम्स बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ ओशनोग्राफी गो थ्रू डायग्राम्स ऑफ बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट लाइक थर्मोक्लाइन आइसोक्लाइन डिकोथर्मल ऑल दिस थिंग्स सो फार चैनल ऑल दिस थिंग्स करेंट नेम्स दोज आर इंपॉर्टेंट दे आर लोकेशंस क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ करेंट्स टाइड्स क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ वेव्स एशूरीज क्लासिफिकेशन एडीज वाटर मासेस दैट्स इट नथिंग एल रिवाइज दिस मज क्वाइट इनफ गो थ्रू डायग्राम्स क्वाइट इनफ मरीन जियोलॉजी सो वी हैव ऑलरेडी कंप्लीटेड द मरीन जियोलॉजी टॉपिक्स इन जियोलॉजी सेक्शन दैट इज जियो टेक्नोलॉजी जियोमोर्फोलॉजी एंड इन पेट्रोलॉजी सो नो नीड सो इन जियोमोर्फोलॉजी मरीन लैंडफॉर्म्स आर देयर इन सेडिमेंट्स वी हैव मरीन सेडिमेंट्स इन टेक्टोनिक्स मेनली वी हैव टेक्टोनिक बाउंड्रीज ऑल दोज थिंग्स इन मरीन केमिस्ट्री वी हैव कंपोजिशन ऑफ सी वाटर दैट इज इंपॉर्टेंट क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ एलिमेंट एच एन एल सी बायोकेमिकल साइक्लिंग ऑफ न्यूट्रियस ट्रेस मेटल देन ऑर्गेनिक मेटल्स साइक्लिंग ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक मेटल्स पी एच बायोपम्प दीज थिंग्स आर इंपॉर्टेंट इन मरीन बायोलॉजी द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग्स आर क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ मरीन इन्वॉर्मेंट मरीन ऑर्गेनिजम्स प्राइमरी एंड सेकेंडरी प्रोडक्शन एंड मरीन इकोलॉजी नाउ इन ऑल दीज थिंग्स यू हैव टू गो थ्रू मोर मोर थ्रू द कॉन्सेप्ट देन यू हैव टू बाई हार्ट ओके यहाँ रटना कम है सो दैट्स वाई आई टूक दीज टॉपिक्स ओके नाउ इफ यू आर न्यू टू ओशनोग्राफी प्रिपेयर मोर फॉर फिजिकल ओशनोग्राफी बिकॉज इट सिक्योर्स मोर मार्क्स ओके एंड सिंस यू आर फ्रॉम जियोलॉजी बैकग्राउंड दिस इज ऑलरेडी कंप्लीटेड पार्सियली फॉर यू एंड यू कैन लिव मरीन केमिस्ट्री एंड मरीन बायोलॉजी इफ यू आर बिगिनर इफ यू आर एक्सपीरियंस वन एट लीस्ट गो फॉर दिस थ्री बिकॉज द नंबर ऑफ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम मरीन बायोलॉजी इज हार्डली थ्री टू फोर हार्डली थ्री टू फोर ओके सो यू कैन इग्नोर दिस एट लीस्ट दिस थ्री ओके सो मूविंग टू द नेक्स्ट एटमोसफियर इन एटमोसफियर द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स आर स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ एटमोसफियर सो एवरीथिंग रिगार्डिंग द डिफरेंट लेयर्स ऑफ एटमोसफियर यू हैव टू गो थ्रू दैट विंड बेल्स एंड अनदर कॉन्सेप्ट रिलेटेड टू विंड बेल्स जेट स्ट्रीम्स फ्रंट्स एयर मासेस वॉटिसिटी साइक्लोन्स डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ साइक्लोन्स क्लाइमेट क्लासिफिकेशन एंड क्लाइमेट चेंज दिस थिंग्स आर इंपॉर्टेंट इन एटमोसफियर इन दिस फोर्टी आवर्स यू कैन गो थ्रू इट इन मेट्रोलॉजी इट्स अ बिग डिफिकल्ट देन एटमोसफियर सो रेडिएशन लॉस एडियाबैटिक प्रोसेसिस फॉर्म्स ऑफ मॉइस्चर्स थर्मोडाइनमिक्स ऑफ ड्राई एंड मॉइस्ट एडियाबैटिक सो दोज लैब्स रेट यू हैव टू गो थ्रू इट आई ऑलरेडी मेड अ वीडियो उसको जरूर देखना यू विल गेट एटलीस्ट वन क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम दैट एटमोस्फेरिक ऑप्टिक्स रेडिएशन विंडोज हीट बजट थंडर स्टॉम्स क्लाउड क्लासिफिकेशन एंड मैकेनिज्म नाउ दीज रॉजबी रिचर्डसन रेनॉल्स फ्रॉड नंबर्स बजटनेस सर्कुलेशन बैरोट्रॉपिक बैरो क्लिनिक ग्रेविटी वेव्स इनर्शियल वेव्स ओके नाउ रॉजबी वेव्स सी दीज आर नॉट डिफिकल्ट यू फाइंड इट डिफिकल्ट बट बिलीव इट्स नॉट डिफिकल्ट ऑल यू हैव टू डू इज जस्ट रिमेंबर डेफिनेशन एंड फॉर्मूला फॉर्मूला इज अगेन द रेशियो जैसे हियर वी हैव रेनॉल्स नंबर रिचर्डसन नंबर रॉजबी नंबर फ्रॉड नंबर दीज आर वॉट रेशियोज ऑफ टू डिफरेंट पैरामीटर्स सो यू हैव टू गो थ्रू द डेफिनेशन एंड दिस फॉर्मूला दैट्स इट फॉर्मूला इज वेरी इजी नो नीड टू नो नीड टू रिमेंबर दोज कॉन्स्टेंट्स ओके डिफरेंट वेरिएबल्स बस देख लो कि दिस इज द रेशियो ऑफ दिस इज दिस दिस वन दिस वन दिस इज द वेन दीज दीज टू पैरामीटर्स आर इक्वल देन इट इज कॉल्ड दिस थिंग दैट्स इट ये बहुत आसान है हम लोग को भारी लगता है ओके रिमेंबर फ्रॉम दीज पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक्स दे नेवर आस्क वेरी डिफिकल्ट क्वेश्चन ऑल दे वॉन्ट इज डेफिनेशन वॉट इज द रेशियो ऑफ दिस और दिस थिंग्स यू कैन इग्नोर बिकॉज वी हैव लिस्ट अमाउंट ऑफ टाइम एंड इफ यू नेवर गोन थ्रू दीज टॉपिक्स रियली वेल देन यू कैन लिव इट लाइक न्यूमेरिकल वेदर प्रोडिक्शन क्लाइमेट मॉडलिंग एविएशन मेट्रोलॉजी एंड सेटेलाइट मेट्रोलॉजी अगेन सेटेलाइट मेट्रोलॉजी डिपेंड्स अपॉन द स्टूडेंट इफ ही इज फ्रॉम से रिमोट सेंसिंग ही नो अ बिट मोर अबाउट रिमोट सेंसिंग देन ही कैन गो फॉर सेटेलाइट मेट्रोलॉजी दीज थ्री टॉपिक्स ह्योर इट इज मैक्सिमम हैविंग सिक्स टू सेवन क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम दीज थ्री टॉपिक्स द द द सिलेबस इज यूज फ्रॉम दीज थ्री टॉपिक्स बट द क्वेश्चन आर नॉट मोर देन सिक्स टू सेवन सो बेटर यू कैन इग्नोर दिस वाइट टफ ओके नाउ देर आर सम प्रोसेस विच इज फॉर्म ड्यू टू ओशियन एटमोसफेयर कंपलिंग सो ओवर देयर द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट इज मॉन्सो आई ऑलरेडी मेड अ वीडियो ऑन दैट ओके देन बेसिकली आई मेड अ वीडियो हाउ 
मॉनसून इज रिलेटेड टू जेड स्ट्रीम्स टी जेड सोमाली जेड आई एम जे ओ देन आईओ डी अलिनो ऑल दिस थिंग्स इन सो देख लो अलिनो साउदर्न ऑस्ट्रेलियन अलिनो लानिना वॉकर सर्कुलेशन दैट इज इंपॉर्टेंट आईओ डी इंडियन ओशन डाइपोल एंड एम जी ओ एंड इफ यू आर लाइक एटमोस्फेरिक स्टूडेंट देन यू कैन हैव अ लुक ऑन दिस ऑल्सो एंड रिमेंबर डिटेल में जानने की कोई जरूरत नहीं है ऑल यू हैव टू नो इज इट्स टाइम पीरियड एंड द बेसिक डेफिनेशन ऑफ ऑल दिस टॉपिक्स दैट्स इट क्वाइट इनफ नाउ प्लेन एंट्री साइंसेस सो राइट नाउ जस्ट गो थ्रू शॉर्ट नोट्स एंड इफ यू डोंट हैव टाइम देन यू कैन इग्नोर द थ्योरेटिकल पार्ट बट नेवर इग्नोर द फॉर्मूलेज लाइक केपलर्स लॉ अर्थ ग्रेविटी फॉर्मूले ऑन मैग्नेटिक फील्ड फॉर्मूले ऑन ऑर्बिटल पैरामीटर्स और सोलर कॉन्स्टेंट दीज आर वेरी ईजी फॉर्मूलेज दीज थिंग्स यू ऑलरेडी डन इन योर टेंथ एंड ट्वेल्थ ओके दीज आर फ्रॉम फिजिक्स एंड इफ यू आर फ्रॉम फिजिक्स बैकग्राउंड मैथ्स बैकग्राउंड कैन इजली सॉल्व दिस ओके इसको छोड़ना नहीं देख कर जाओ फॉर्मूला एक बार ओवरऑल स्कोरिंग प्लेनेटरी साइंस इज ओवरऑल स्कोरिंग यू कैन यू हैव टू अटेम्प टू मेडिकल्स ओके एंड मस्ट रिवाइज फॉर्मूला ओके सो आफ्टर दिस अगर इतना चीज कर ले रहे हो और तुमने मेरी वीडियो देखी होंगी सो आई ऑलरेडी मेड थर्टी फाइव प्लस वीडियोज ऑन सी एस आई आर प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन और उसमें सात सौ से ज्यादा क्वेश्चन सॉल्व है सो गो थ्रू इट डबल स्पीड पर करो हेडफोन में लगाओ इफ आर डूइंग एनी थिंग खाना बना रहे हो हेडफोन में लगाओ गाना गा रहे हो डू वट एवर यू वॉन्ट बट सुनते रहो ओके विद दिस बेस्ट ऑफ लक एवरी वन आई होप कि दिस विल हेल्प यू और यू कैन थैंक मी लेटर एंड क्रैक करना है एनी हाउ दीज लास्ट फोर्टी आवर्स तुमसे कोई नहीं छीन सकता ठीक है ये तुम्हारे हैं एंड आई एम योर टू हेल्प यू एंड अगर तुम्हारा क्लियर होता है आई एम देयर फॉर काउंसलिंग ऑल्सो सो थैंक यू वेरी मच एवरीबडी थैंक यू